Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, <clears throat> we helped Reigns fall out of a bad situation and get his ceremonial relics back. Where is my horse? There you are, young Bluka. This time, before we go help Dutch and Sadie and everyone else who's just going to be looking for trouble, we're going to go do a nice bit of fishing with an old man. Yep. I know, not the most interesting thing. But after everything that went on that was that heavy and that dramatic, I think we need something a little lighthearted. You know, before the shit hits the fan, because it's gonna hit, brothers and sisters out there, it's gonna hit. He has a pet deer. That's interesting. Use a long scope rifle for a clean kill. Okay, interesting. The veteran. Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go in my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Whatever one thing catches. Worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well. Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. A legendary uh, fish? <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha. The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. Spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. Tried coins, shell cases, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. Now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting them with something the shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Towards the island. Got something? Ah, I got something all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on now, tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. Ah, <sighs> 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 went off slack. Went off slack. Come back. Oh, 
That is a mean fish. Uh, how do I start rowing? How, how do I... There we go, triangle. Yeah, I see you, Hamish. Still got your leg? Good, 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 good. You lost anything? <sighs> it's just my rod. <clears throat> We've got my toes, too. They weren't wooden. <sighs> you want another go at him? Still got my lord. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Throw over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pike? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cash back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Just a bit faster now. Come on! I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Stop a second. You snap the line, you reel when he's fighting like that. Time to reel. Don't let him pull you. Come on. I got you. Come on. Come on. Still struggling. Reel it in. This is exhilarating. Nope. Strong, nope. Oh, yeah. Yes. Bring it in now. Okay, I don't have to hold the trigger down. Start reeling. Yeah, I am. He's tiring, all right. Okay, I gotta hold the line. There you go. Come on. I've got you, you son of a fish. Try pulling that rod up as you reel. 
Yeah, I am. I've almost got him in. We got you now, tyrant. We got you now. Ah, you lost him. Let's try again. I think we found him. Cast again. You can speed that up a little. Just a little faster. Fishy. Oh, hook him. I see it. You're not getting away from me this time, you son of a fish. Come here! Got him. Now here we go. That's a big frickin' pike. Damn you! Yeah. That was exhilarating. Here, here. Oh, the holder. It was this Pass me the big. Tyrant. That is if you show you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? Whew. That's a big he pipe. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Hey, you need something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I'm me. Okay. That was fun.
Okay. Now, who am I going to go see? Well, my options are Sadie. Or no one. I don't know who Charlotte is. Wait, there's still another option. Oh, Captain Monroe has something for me. Well, I don't feel like doing that right now. Because it's all the way back at the reservation. I'm already close to Saint Denis from here. <clears throat> Let's go get into trouble in Ansburg again. Or at least that friggin' county line there. That little region is gonna want me dead. There's no way around it. Yeah. Easy now. This ain't no town or no city. These are the more heartlands, and you ain't welcome. Don't. Please! God bless you, mister. You're welcome. I saved a government official. The Lemoyne Raiders do not like the government. I'm not overly fond of the government myself, but that's not really important. What is important is we get into town and we help. Dan Dunny. A place where I'm want where I'm wanted dead or alive. Why am I here? A lot's my problem right now. That's not the door. How do I get in this place? Yeah, actually, I kind of am. I'll take the mask off, it makes people feel more comfortable. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on. Let's go. Let's go away. Goodbye, Goodbye dear you friend. So up. Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are going to hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. You can't be serious. You cannot okay. be serious. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. 
Kung hung me up. Nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Kong. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? I think times were more peaceful when we hung our degenerates in public. Hanged our degenerates, I should hey. say. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh. Here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I Were guess you I now? I don't know what I know, no man. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Let's go. Quiet. So, they got a guy up on the roof, overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And okay. do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Yeah, I see it. Get out onto the roof. You know how I can do that? I guess you could go out on the balcony if you took the stairs up a level. Okay. Thank you. There are the stairs. Sir. Good sir.
You baby! Your boss is gonna swing, I promise. <laughs> It's another Carnico rifle. For some time, the man is so savage. The only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Home O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen. Raped and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Oh, I'd love to put the shot in him right now. This catches up with him. <laughs> As well, you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! God damn. Morgan, you hear us? Take a shot on these old pistols. I want to put a shot in him. I don't like fighting, but I'm good at it. I'll have him just about done. I ain't gonna get him. This fellow's in our way, or it's a kind of something about it. I ain't gonna That was fun. That was also very satisfying. I quite enjoyed watching Colm hang. Oh my god, I loved the fear in his eyes when he saw Morgan wave at him and Dutch and Sadie hold his men in the <coughs> crowd. He knew he wasn't getting out of that one alive. God, that felt good. That felt really, really good. How you doing, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. 
I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? A ring? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free goodbye Mary Third time lucky. Fuck. He can't even be happy. Well, Eagle flies and Dutch have a mission for me. And that other mission considering, oh no, it's still there. I'm going to do this one next time, because everything with Dutch always turns to shit. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2, as I go see what the good colonel wants with me. So we can get a move on. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.